Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss how a linear equation in one variable can have one solution, no solution or infinitely many solutions. Now by solution we mean that value of variable for which the left hand side of the equation and the right hand side of the equation are equal. Now linear equation in one variable x can be of the type ax plus b is equal to d or ax plus b is equal to cx plus d. So, for solution we see those values of variable x for which left hand side is equal to right hand side of the equation. Now let us see linear equation in one variable with only one solution or we can say Linear equation in one variable with unique solution. Now consider the equation 3y plus 7 is equal to 16. Now let us solve this equation. So this implies 3y is equal to 16 minus 7 and further this implies 3y is equal to now 16 minus 7 is 9 and this implies y is equal to 9 upon 3 which is equal to 3. Now let this be equation number 1. Now here the only value of y that makes the equation number 1 true is y is equal to 3. It means for y is equal to 3, left hand side will be equal to right hand side of this equation. Now let us verify this. For this, we will put y is equal to 3 in equation 1. And here we will get 3 into 3 plus 7 is equal to 16 which implies 9 plus 7 is equal to 16 and further this implies 16 is equal to 16. So left hand side is equal to right hand side it means y is equal to 3 satisfies equation 1. Now if we put any other value of variable y then left hand side will not be equal to right hand side of this equation. Now let us put y is equal to 1 in equation 1. Now here we have 3 into 1 plus 7 is equal to 16 which implies 3 plus 7 is equal to 16 and this gives 10 is equal to 16 which is not true because 10 is not equal to 16. So putting y is equal to 1 in equation 1 left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Similarly, if we put any other value of variable y except 3, then it will not satisfy equation 1. So, the given equation has only one solution That is, y is equal to 3. So, 
This is the linear equation in one variable with only one solution. Now let us discuss linear equation in one variable with infinitely many solutions. Now here, consider the equation 4x plus 20 is equal to 4 into x plus 5 the whole. Now here, left hand side is equal to 4x plus 20 and right hand side is equal to 4 into x plus 5 the whole which is equal to 4 into x plus 4 into 5 which is 20. So right hand side is also equal to 4x plus 20. So these two expressions are equivalent. Now simplifying the given equation we get 4x plus 20 is equal to now here, using the distributive property, this will be 4 into x, that is 4x, plus 4 into 5, that is 20. Now subtracting 4x from both sides, we get 20 is equal to 20, which is true. So, 4x plus 20 is equal to 4 into x plus 5 the whole is true for all real values of x. So, whatever may be the value of x, the two expressions remain equivalent. So, the given equation has infinitely many solutions. Hence, if we put any value of x, then left hand side will be equal to right hand side of this equation. Now let us verify this. For this, let us put x is equal to 3 and 5 in this equation. Now for x is equal to 3, left hand side will be equal to 4x plus 20 which is equal to 4 into 3 plus 20 which is equal to 12 plus 20 and this is equal to 32 and right hand side which is equal to 4 into x plus 5 the whole will be equal to 4 into 3 plus 5 the whole and this is equal to 4 into now 3 plus 5 is 8 and 4 into 8 is 32. So, 32 is equal to 32, which means left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, x is equal to 3 is the solution of the given equation. Now, for x is equal to 5, left hand side, which is equal to 4x plus 20, will be equal to 4 into 5 plus 20, and this is equal to 20 plus 20, which is equal to 40. And right hand side, which is equal to 4 into x plus 5 the whole, will be equal to 4 into 5 plus 5 the whole and this is equal to 4 into 5 plus 5 which is 10 
and 4 into 10 is 40. So, 40 is equal to 40, which means left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, x is equal to 5 is the solution of the given equation. Similarly, we can put any real value of x in this equation and that will be the solution of this equation. So, this is a linear equation in one variable with infinitely many solutions. And now let us discuss linear equation in one variable with no solution. Now, when an equation has no solution, it is called inconsistent equation. Now when for any value of x, left hand side is not equal to right hand side, then the equation is inconsistent, that is, it has no solution. Now, this condition holds when two expressions are not equivalent. Now let us consider an equation that is 5x minus 2 is equal to 5 into x plus 1 the whole here. First of all let us simplify this equation. Now this implies 5x minus 2 is equal to, now using the distributive property, this is equal to 5x plus 5 into 1 which is 5. Now subtracting 5x from both sides we get minus 2 is equal to 5 which is not true because minus 2 is not equal to 5. So here left hand side is not equal to right hand side. It means these two expressions are not equivalent. Therefore the given equation is not true For any real value of x. So, the given equation has no solution. So, this is the linear equation in one variable with no solution. So in this session we have learnt about linear equation in one variable with one solution, no solution or infinitely many solutions. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.